Hi, my name is Madeline and welcome to my soft watercolor mountains tutorial. Today we are going to be painting something super easy and quick. It's one of those mini paintings where if you don't have a lot of time on your hands, it's the perfect little exercise to get some paint on your paper and it's just really simple and I, I hope you enjoy painting along with me today. I want to first go over my supplies. Feel free to pause the video to slowly look this over. I'll be using 100% cotton watercolor paper. This is Bao Hong Academy Rough. The watercolors that I'm gonna be using today, I'm gonna be primarily using handmade paints by Addison and Segwick. I'll be using a pastel pink, a pastel purple, a light blue, a pink, and another purple that are a little bit darker to paint the mountains um, as long as well as indigo and then i will be adding in some metallic paint highlights at the very end i do use a washi tape circle or dot to um, create my sun you could also use masking fluid and then just the regulars which is you know masking tape my hot air tool and a mixing palette i'll be using my polina bright round one my etcher round six and my prince and neptune mottler and my da vinci liner I'm starting off by wetting my paper because I want to paint our first layer background wash wet on wet. Um, it just helps all of my colors to sort of blend together really softly. So I have some pink on my palette, but I'm grabbing a few pinks, um, a light pink and a pastel pink. I want the sky to feel really warm and really soft. So rather than using yellow, pinks and purples are sort of my go-to. Now I'm grabbing some lavender and I'm painting the top of our sky with a little bit of purple. As long as the entire paper is wet, you can blend these different colors together and they'll all sort of become a really smooth gradient, um, something that you can't always get with wet on dry. And then I add some yellow to the very bottom of the landscape but then I later cover this part with mountains so I I don't think you need to do this part I'm gonna darken the top of our sky just a little bit more because I like the top to be a little bit darker and then I'm gonna dry this layer and the next thing we're gonna do is paint the mountains. It would really help if you had a hot air tool, otherwise you would have to slowly wait for each layer of mountain to dry. But right now I'm starting off with a light blue and I'm gonna paint the mountain that is the furthest from, the furthest from us and it's also going to be the lightest in value. I'm going to grab another pink and I'm going to mix it with the colors that I already have on my palette and I'm going to um, paint our second mountain. For the third mountain, I'm gonna grab a darker purple color. I want it to stand out and be darker in value than the first two mountains. And I'm also gonna paint it a little bit lower than the first two. For the very last mountain, I'm gonna be grabbing some indigo and it's going to be the shortest of all the mountains. Thank you. 
now that everything has dried I'm going to grab a little washi dot circle and I'm gonna grab some white gouache this is PH Martin's bleed proof white and I'm gonna paint around the circle and then now I'm gonna rinse my brush and with just a damp clean brush I am going to soften that line one important tip when doing this part is to make sure that you use um, a brush that doesn't hold too much water or paint so that we don't get any water blooms. Now I've dried it, I've peeled off the little washi dot sticker and I'm going to grab some of my metallic paint and I'm going to paint in the sun. Now I'm going to do something fun and I'm going to grab my liner brush that I use to paint my birds with and I'm going to paint a metallic flock of birds with the same color that I used to paint the sun. And then now I'm gonna grab my entire metallic set and I'm going to outline all the different mountains with a different metallic color just to give each mountain sort of that like highlight so that it kind of pops when we look at all the mountains together. And this is my liner brush that I use to paint my birds so it gives me a really thin line. And I'm going to paint each mountain with a different metallic color. And once we've finished outlining the mountains, we are done with this quick five minute easy mini piece. I love the metallic highlights that we gave at the end. If you liked this tutorial, please hit the like button. It's a really small way to help my channel grow. And if you enjoy my content, use the following QR codes to either find me on Patreon or Instagram.